Well, hello everybody. In this video, uh, we're going to kind of do a little experiment, a little learning together here. Um, we started using these new toilets, and they're a skirted toilet, and it doesn't bolt down the way the conventional ones do. And our guys and gals out there in the field have been having a lot of trouble with these things wanting to wiggle around because it it mounts with these special little L brackets, and then it screws in from the side. Uh, it's it's different than what we're used to using, but. Um, I've got the kit here it came with. Uh, I've got my base. I'm not really going to worry about the tank because the tank bolts up just like all the rest of them. Uh, that came with the toilet and then um, I got some closet bolts here. Now um, we prefer in new construction, we prefer to use these plastic ones. Uh, I know there's a lot of plumbers out there that, that swear by those metal ones, but plastic ones won't rust. Yeah, if you tighten these guys down too much, they will break. Um, but they won't rust and the other thing is if you tighten them down too much they break you don't break the bottom of the toilet uh, these cost I don't know 50 cents this costs what 80 bucks so got those and then of course I'm out here in the training center and I don't use conventional wax rings out here um, I've got these um, rubber ones that you can reuse over and over again uh, these things are supposed to last forever uh, now the cost on these is about five times, maybe even more than that, than your regular wax rings. So, um, if you're just going to install the toilet, leave it, never, never pull it again. Wax rings are perfectly fine, but out here we set and pull these things over and over again, and that wax would just be everywhere. Now, if you're doing a remodel or something, and you're going to be pulling the toilet in and out, in and out, uh, I recommend going with these because you can reuse them and they don't make a mess. So. Uh, Let's get started here. All right, well, we've got our basic closet flange or toilet flange here. Now, if this was new construction, there'd be a knockout ring in here, and you'd have to tap on that and then pull it out with your pair of pliers. But this toilet's um, already been set. This flange has already been knocked out for us, so we don't have to do that. All right, to do this job, you're going to need some slip joint pliers. Just We call them channel locks. It's a brand name. And you're going to need you a, a screwdriver. I recommend the 6 and ones uh, because it's got everything on it. Um, so to get started, I guess um, we'll take our little closet bolts here. We'll go ahead and put those in our slots. Um, now some plumbers, if, um, if they're good with their measuring tape, they'll line it up on these little side tabs and they'll have those exactly where they need to be. Um, that way the toilet... Um, will only go one way. But what we found out, sometimes we make mistakes, so we like to use these slotted joints. That way we can turn the toilet, move it around a little bit, and make it look good at trim. So you slide your bolts in. Uh, next thing we got is our little L brackets that the thing came with. And we're gonna put those on. And maybe, well, I think we ran into our first problem. The bolts are a little too big. Oh, there we go. That's kind of a weird way of doing it, but it will work. Okay, now we're seeing uh, some disadvantages of my plastic closet bolts. It's going on there, but it ain't it ain't pretty. This might be where some of our problem is. Let's see what happens when we put the nut on it. Now, if I was using some metal metal closet bolts, we wouldn't be having this problem because they're, they're much smaller. So we might have to go that route. Yeah, this is much different than your regular toilet. Hopefully, it'll go down on here the way I want it to. See now why they're having so many problems with these things. Find my pliers. Get on here. Now this is going to be really interesting. Okay, we're on there. Let's 
Well, so I'm not taking up so much of your time. I'm going to go ahead and put this one together and I'll come right back. Got my other side on here, and yes, it was just as difficult at that side. And once I got it tight, I realized something. These little rubber flanges have some little eyelet holes, and I don't know if this is going to work because that's supposed to slip over those. Uh, and I don't believe that's going to work for me. Um, so I'm going to have to take it apart again. We're learning, right? Well, I took it all apart just to find out that this little guy with its little eyelets, there's not really any way that you're going to be able to use this particular seal uh, using those eyelets. Uh, if it was under, if it was on top, however, it's squishing this side all up and it's just not going to work. But these things will work just fine like this. Now if you use an old wax ring it's not really going to matter uh, because that wax will just squish all around but I wanted to use one of these. Um, still not the prettiest thing. Well let's see about getting the toilet on here. Well, there's our first problem. There is no way that it's going to go down all the way on there. Um, normally we shim these things at the back, but goodness. Yeah, your little toilet shims, they come together. You can rip them apart so you get two out of each one. Um, because we're going to have to... Now, I would normally recommend shimming your toilets from behind, but don't really know how well this is going to work. Well, we're going to go ahead and try them. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, I am not really becoming a fan here. Uh, these things have a little nut that slips in like that. It's just a protector for up against the um, porcelain here. Get my Phillips head going here. And we should be able to stick that in and find our plastic piece. It's just on the other side. Y'all might see me break out my impact on this one now. Well, now I see why the guys and gals don't like this one. I don't like it either. Well, there it goes, getting tight now. <clears throat> but it's gonna rock. And then there'd be a little cap that goes over that to make it look pretty. Well, I guess it's a nice looking toilet, but um, I think I'm, there's no way. I mean, I could try to shim that all day long, but it's just going to rock. And it's not. Huh. Well. All right, well, this uh, video was kind of a fail. Um, I, I'm not real pleased with uh, what's going on here with this toilet. I don't think these brackets work worth a poop. <laughs> and uh, now there are some other toilets out there that's got a big hole with a plug that goes on that is a skirted toilet like this. And you have to kind of have a little special tool to get in there to get to your closet bowl. 
never really had any problems with those, but those are bolting straight down, where this is bolting through that L bracket, and I mean, I could cram shims up under here, but it's still going, it's still going to bounce. I think this is just a bad design. Um, I don't know the solution to this one, so uh, this, like I said, I guess this one was a big fail, but uh, thanks everybody for watching.